Hi, and welcome to this tutorial, where we are going to show and explain all the functionalities available in the Mystica VR Connect application for MetaQuest 2 headset. Introducing Immersive Stitching and Review, Mystica VR Connect is an add-on feature for Mystica VR, the industry's favorite optical flow stitching solution. To get it up and running, you will need to establish the connection between the desktop host and your MetaQuest 2 headset application. To see how to do that, check out this tutorial. Once we apply the camera preset to our media, and the connection is established correctly, we will enter the 360 view of our sequence. You can use Mystica VR Connect to stitch your media directly in the MetaQuest 2 headset, or you can speed up the feedback cycles by providing remote access to your client, or another team member who can view the modifications in real time. To load the interface, press the start button on your left controller. On the left we can see the clip stack window with a list of cameras. The timeline menu with different options to control the cameras in the center. And on the right we can find the camera and feather overlay features together with several different viewing options. Let's discover each of the panels in detail. In the clip stack window we can select each camera separately, hide it, and activate its soundtrack. In addition, the resolution and frame rate information are also displayed. In the timeline section we have several options to navigate within the sequence, using the time code or frame number. Another way is by simply moving the timeline slider. You will also find some of the editing options, allowing you to customize the work area with edit in and edit out marks, and their corresponding navigation settings. You can also use these controls to jump to the next or previous shot. Below this panel you'll find camera controls with four different menus. The leftmost allows us to control color management of our project. We can set both input and output gamut and gamma. Scroll down to see all the supported color spaces. The following menu contains different stitching options, helping us to achieve flawless results. On the top you'll find the new auto calibrate tool, automatically improving the geometry alignment between cameras. The Improve Offsets and Angles tools will refine the alignment of the cameras. We can also solve color mismatches of our image with Match Color, and Match Color in Time functionalities. The next one is the Edge Points menu, where you can choose between several different types, and manipulate them in your 360 environment to see the changes in real time. Select the edge point created with the index trigger, and move it around your image to get a perfect result. In the Input Camera menu you will find yaw, pitch, and roll parameters together with exposure, temperature, and tint. Just like in Mystica VR, modifying input camera parameters will only affect the selected camera. On the contrary, the changes made to the Output Camera menu, containing the same parameters as the Input Camera tab, will affect the global result of all our cameras. Any modifications made in this panel, will be applied to the final stitching of our sequence that we are going to export. Below these four menus we will find the GUI handler. By selecting it, we can move the controls and position them wherever we want in our 360 environment. The settings button will open the streaming connection window. We can use it in case we want to connect to another Mystica VR host. On the right you'll find the help button. When activated, a pop-up window will appear with instructions on how to use the headset controllers. On the far right, you will see a tab with three icons. The top one will activate the camera overlay, displaying the position of each camera in the 360 environment. Please note that if your GUI controls are placed over a certain camera, you will not be able to select it. To do so, you will need to move the controllers using the GUI handler. We can also activate the feather overlay, represented with the green and red lines, allowing us to check the overlap between cameras along with our edge points. The third icon is for stereo 3D display modes. By activating this button, you can choose between different options. By default, no stereo will be activated, but we can also select left and right view to see the sight of each eye, anaglyph and black and white anaglyph to compare the position of each eye, and finally other stereo 3D modes such as side-by-side, -side, top and bottom and side-by-side -side VR 180. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on social media if you want to keep up with the latest news on Mystica technology. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.